It is Wednesday, June 19th. I'm Shelly Muniz here, the six things to know. President Trump officially running for re-election. The president making a big announcement in Orlando before then coming down to South Florida. But he'll be holding a private fundraiser at his Doral Resort. Suspended Broward Sheriff Scott Israel is back at special hearing this morning in Tallahassee. His lawyers are hoping to convince a special master to overturn the governor's suspension and reinstate him to the job. The state Senate has the final say on the matter. The police department of North Miami Beach has informed Jonathan Aleda of his, their intent to fire him. Aleda is now suspended without pay after a jury found him guilty of culpable negligence in the shooting of an unarmed man back in 2016. Boston Red Sox legend David Ortiz has been upgraded to good condition as he continues to recover from his shooting. Last week in the Dominican Republic, 11 suspects have been arrested in connection to the shooting. Ortiz is recovering at Massachusetts General Hospital. Today is Juneteenth, also known as Juneteenth Independence Day or Freedom Day. The American holiday commemorates June 19, 1865, when slavery was abolished in the state of Texas. It also celebrates the emancipation of enslaved African Americans throughout the Confederate States. Families living at a Lauderdale Lakes apartment complex are concerned for their safety after several cars were vandalized. It happened at Atlantic Cypress Creek near State Road 7 and Commercial Boulevard. Several cars have smashed windows or stolen property. So far, no arrests have been made. And for more on these stories, including what one rookie pitcher for the Marlins did that has only been done once before in the last 125 years of Major League Baseball, just go on to the NBC6 app. And we'll see you tomorrow morning, dark and early.